yes we just want to click off this button i'm going to get a professional looking retouched for this image right here so let's just sit back and relax while it loads wow this is awesome i've been using this software for a long time right now and i've shared it in my previous video let's just see the before and after of this image you can see how well it touched this image is so this is the before and this is the after i really don't have to do anything for this image anymore this is the before and the after i've got this professional looking retouch in less than two minutes now let's see what's inside the action and i'm going to explain them and how you can actually do it yourself so let me just turn off the whole layer so you can see how it works so the first one right here we have the heel so if you just look at the image right now if i just turn on the heel you can see it has removed all the blemishes for this image and also the second one right here is our micro dodge and bond if i just turn it on you can see it has done the micro dodge and bond for this image so the before and the after and right here is our global dodge and bond if i just turn it off and on you are going to see the effect just a subtle difference because i actually reduced the opacity so if i just take the opacity up you are going to see the effect is going to be here so the before and the after but i like keeping this up too so i'm just going to reduce the opacity to 15. and also right here we have our eye vessel so if i just turn on this eye vessel right here it's going to remove those veins on the eyes so you can see this is the before and this is the after wow this is really really amazing now let's go back a little let's start from the beginning let me show you how you can actually get this result yourself if a professional photographer or retoucher and you are making money off your work i repeat only if you are making money off your work then i recommend you get this retouch from a plugin because it gives you amazing and realistic results and saves you a lot of time i highly recommend this 100 percent because like i said earlier i've been using it and it has been working for me now let me just delete this and start from the beginning so you can see how it works now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate my layer by pressing on ctrl j after you've installed this plugin just come to your filter and come to retouch for me right here there's a lot of cool options right here you can clear your backdrop you can match color you can get your skin tone to look even you can even remove fabrics and make your fabrics on your cloth straight all right i'm going to come to all that later in this video but for now since we want to remove the blemishes for this image just click on here right here so just click on here and it's just going to load up like this make sure this place right here is on auto the ai will automatically detect what type of image it is if it's headshot full body shot or a portrait and up here we have the sensitivity which means the amount of blemishes you want to remove so if i take it down like this you can see the amount of blemishes it's removing for the image so if i take it up it's removing more blemishes on the image so i'm going to take it to 100 percent like this and if i just zoom in and you can press the space key on your keyboard to see your before and after so if i just press the space key you're going to see the before and the after the before and the after you can see it has removed the blemishes for this image what you're going to do next make sure your mask is checked and just click on apply i'm just going to apply like that now the reason why that mask is checked maybe you want to bring back some natural mark on the face like this one right here maybe you want to bring it back all you have to do is create a mask pick your normal brush tool with your black brush selected just paint and bring back that natural mark you want to bring back like this okay so the before and the after i want to bring back the one here as well so the before and the after so you can actually bring back the blemishes which you don't want to remove from your image by just masking it and not just removing the blemishes you can actually do professional micro dodge and bond with this plugin so instead of spending hours trying to get your micro dodge and bond all you have to do is create a stamp visible layer by pressing the ctrl shift alternate e then just come to your filter again come to your retouch for me and click on dodge and bond so this will automatically run dodge and bond for you it's going to give you professional looking dodge and bond for you it saves you a lot of time and the result is amazing just wait for it so as you can see right now if i just zoom in and let me just press my space key so you can see the before and after so this is before micro dodge and bond and this is after micro dodge and bond this is really really amazing and you can change the blending option up here how much of the micro dodge and bond you want for your image so if i just take this blending option down like this it's just going to do a little bit of micro dodge and bond for me why if i take it up to 200 it's just going to do more micro dodge and bond for me so this is the before and the after the before and the after you can leave it at 200 and later reduce the opacity inside of photoshop but i prefer to use 160 for me 160 works for me and make sure your soft light layer is checked right here and from here you can choose to add warmth if you want to add warmth 
but I prefer to just leave it in default on zero like this. So the before and the after and just click on apply. I'm just going to apply. Next thing is to come to your blending mode and change it to soft light. All right now, see the before and the after, the before and the after. This is this is amazing. Like it's mind blowing. So what I can do, I can just reduce the opacity because I feel it's too much. So let me just reduce the opacity a little bit like this. Okay. Now next, what I'm going to do is the global dodge and burn. So this is a global dodge and burn. All you have to do is create another stamp visible here by pressing on Ctrl Shift Alternate E, and just come to your filter again. Click on Retouch for me, and just click on Portrait Volume right here. And once that load, you can as well choose how much of the global dodge and burn you want to your image. So if I just come to this my blending option slider right here, and I take it to the 200 like this. You can see the effect is too strong the before and the after the before and the after i really don't want that so i'm just going to take it down to 32 or 30. so 30 works for me and make sure your soft light layer is checked just click on apply then come to your blending mode change it from normal to soft light and from here you can choose to reduce the opacity i like to reduce my opacity to 15 like this so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove those veins on the eyes, those red veins on the eyes, just to make the eyes a little bit more better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a stamp visible layer again by pressing on Ctrl Shift alternate E, and just come to my filter. You know what to do? Retouch for me, and right here I'm going to click on Eye Vessel. Alright, once that load, if I just zoom in and show you the before and after, so this is the before and the after. Just look at the eyes, the before and the after. Those red veins or the eyes are no longer there. And also with your blending option, you can choose how much you want to remove and how much you want to keep. So just move your sliders and see how much you want to remove and how much you want to keep like that. So I'm going to leave it at 100% and make sure mask is selected and just click on apply. Now what I can do, I'm just going to group them by pressing on Ctrl G. This is the before and the after. Amazing. The before and the after so you can see we've retouched this image professionally and it's looking so so good and like i said earlier you can actually clean up your background so just take a look at this background right here on this image let's clean it up so i'm going to press our ctrl j and just come to my filter and come to retouch for me and just click on clean backdrop all right once that load and i just zoom in you can see the backdrop is looking really really good so this is the before and the after, the before and the after. So we've successfully cleaned this backdrop. Now all you have to do is click on apply or you can click on make mask and click on apply. Now if you want to remove fold from dress, all you have to do is click on Ctrl J to duplicate your layer, come to your filter, click on retouch for me and just click on retouch for me fabrics. And it's just going to remove the folds from the dress as you can see. So this is the before. And this is the after the before and the after and with the slider on with the blend slider you can choose of how much food you want to remove but mine is on 100 i like it like this so the before and the after you can see how awesome this is and just click on apply i highly recommend 100 percent to get this retouch on me plugin because it saves you a lot of time and if you use the link in the description of this video to purchase any of this plugin you are going to get 20 percent off of any purchase you make with the link in the description below so i highly recommend as a professional you get it because it's going to give you a better result a good result and saves you a lot of time if you want to learn how i created that retouch for me action click on this video right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative